Hi guys, uh, myself Vijay Tavadhan and in this video lecture session I am going to discuss about the construction of uh, triangular based laminar solids uh, like uh, the prism pyramid and the plastrum of pyramid. Now in uh, my previous video lecture session I am going to have shown you how to construct the triangular laminar. So now we are going to construct these triangular laminar to be converted as a prism pyramid and a plastrum of pyramid as I told you. Now to have a solid we know that each and every solid will be having an axis which is an imaginary line which is passing through the center of a solid so for which we need to identify the center of the triangle now by identifying the center of a triangle we have to draw two medians the intersection of the median is going to get the axis position so now using a line command with the thickness of 0 0.15 and 0 0.13 mm as a thickness uh, we will start drawing an axis whose length is 50 mm at an angle of 90 degree and in the same fashion I am going to construct the three axes for three different solids so the three different solids are nothing but prism pyramid and prism of pyramid so the first one we are going to convert it into a prism then as a pyramid then as a prism of pyramid and I am going to show you how to construct the same now according to the guidelines uh, the horizontal edge is parallel to the isometric axis so using these things we already draw now inclined edges not parallel to the isometric axis also we have drawn now using these uh, considerations only we have drawn all the drawings as of now here with respect to the isometric and then now we know that uh, for the prisms whatever the bases are there there will be two bases one is at the bottom one is at the top so we already constructed the bottom base as a1 b1 c1 which is represented here and the top base is the ABC which is supposed to be at a height of 50 millimeter. So for which it's a very simple once the pen, uh, once your uh, triangular polygon has been constructed, select that polygon, uh, make use of a command called as move, make sure that move copy is on, then move this polygon with respect to O1 and position this polygon at the O over here. Now you can see one more face has been reconstructed at a required height of 50 millimeter. Then make use of a line, uh, sorry, text command and uh, mark the respective corners as A, B, C as well as O. And then using a line command with the thickness of uh, 0 0.5 and a continuous line. So join the longer edges. Which are the longer edges? A, A1 is one such longer edge. And B, B1 is also one of this longer edge. And then we have C, C1 is going to be the one more longer edge. Now one can see that we have constructed all the required parameters of the triangular prism now uh, this edge a1 c1 is going to be the invisible so it could be written as invisible to be honest according to the isometric projection invisible edges need not to be represented and the other lines which are necessary could be retained as a construction lines now i'm just uh, retaining it as now then so this completes the construction of the prism. In the same way, now I'm going to show you how to construct the pyramid. Already base has been constructed. We know that the pyramid will be having a slant edges which is connected to the another end of the axis which is called as the apex or a vertex line. So now using the text command, I'm going to mark this apex or a vertex as O. Now it's very simple using the same line command with the continuous and 0.5 mm thick. So join the line A to O as one slant edge and then O to B as well as C to O these are the three different slant edges once again this edge is not going to be visible so we can delete it or we can retain it as a thin line if it is required now one can see that the construction of triangular based pyramid in case of isometric has been completed now in the same fashion we have to construct the first term of pyramid now what is this first term of pyramid so the first term of pyramid is uh, nothing bad a pyramid is going to cut with a cutting plane when the cutting plane is held parallel to a horizontal plane the top portion is going to be chopped off and the remaining bottom portion is going to be retained and that remaining bottom portion the we will be having one more top base which is similar to the bottom base but the size of the top base is going to be having a reduced size now that reduced size is 30 millimeter and the bottom base is 50 millimeter and its height is 50 millimeter. I am going to show you how to construct this first term over here. To construct the first term, we have to follow almost similar to the uh, prisms. Now I will show you how to construct the same. 
Now make use of uh, a copy and move command that is select the bottom base which is of uh, size 50 millimeter. Then make use of a command called as move and make sure that move copy should be on. Move that base which is constructed at a size 50 millimeter at O1 base and it should be repositioned at the base O. Now one can see that the size of this uh, is also 50 millimeter. Now one can see that the size of this triangle is 50 millimeter. Now what I am going to do, I am going to select this triangle once again and then we will make use of a command called as a scale. Now using a scale command, I need to calculate what is a scale factor to convert this 50mm triangle into 30mm. Now the required size should be taken in the numerator part and the available size should be in the denominator part. Now the required size of the uh, triangle is 30 millimeter and at the bottom we have constructed as 40 so it should be 30 by 40 is the scale factor now which is going to be calculated as 0.6 then show the center point of the triangle once again as O properly now one can see that the 50 mm triangle has been converted to 30 mm and then make use of a text command start naming these respective corners as A and this as B C and this is going to be the axis position O. And then make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.5 and a continuous line. Join the slant edges that is A1 to A and then B1 to B then C1 to C. Now after which A1 C1 is not going to be seen to us. So we can delete these lines or if required we can retain these lines as a thin lines because hidden lines are not going to be shown in case of isometric projections but however it can be retained as a thin lines and unless and otherwise required these dimensions are also not necessary to be shown but here I have shown these dimensions only to show that once the isometric is completed now this is called as isometric view now we need to convert this into isometric projection using a command called a scale factor I am going to show you how to convert these drawings into isometric projection. So for which I am going to select the required views. I have selected all the necessary views. And then I will make use of a command called as a scale. Then this is going to be reduced to a scale factor of 0 0.8164. And it could be placed anywhere on the screen. Now one can see that we have completed the construction of the frustum of, sorry, uh, the first term of triangular base pyramid and the pyramid and then the prism of triangular bases. So this is how one can construct the triangular lamina which is as discussed in one of the previous video sessions has converted into the required type of prism, pyramid and first term of pyramid. Now if you have any sort of doubt please feel free to contact me where my contact number is displaying over there and also please kindly share this video to all your first year engineering students and if you have any sort of doubt please feel free to contact me once again thank you guys for watching my videos